Hey guys, it's Camille, and today I'm going to show you guys how I straighten my super curly hair since you guys have asked for it so much. And since my hair is very curly and I get it pretty straight, you guys are always wondering how I do that, so I'm finally showing you guys today. And this is a new method that I kind of discovered while I was in college. I kind of stumbled upon it, so I wanted to share it with you guys. The secret to this is braiding your hair the night before. So I do two French braids like this, and I have my products in there already. I do this the night before, I wash it and braid it. And then the day that I want to straighten my hair, I wake up, I take out the braids. And the reason that I do this is because the braids will keep my hair untangled. And when you have curly hair, it just coils around itself and just kind of tangles itself on its own. So if you braid it, then you'll kind of get rid of that and you will cut down on so much time. I use my Redken Extreme Anti-Snap Deep Conditioner and my Softy Indian Hemp Oil in my hair the night before and then the day of I use my suave heat protectant hairspray or any other heat protectant spray in my hair before I straighten it so I can avoid it being damaged and fried and I just spray that all over the top the bottom the inside the outside you want to make sure that you get it all over your hair so you can protect it from the heat especially if you have curly hair or dry or damaged hair or anything or you just want to prevent heat everyone should use this Spray the ends a little bit extra, and then I add a serum in the ends of my hair. This is by the brand Lioness, and I just like to add a serum because the ends of my hair tend to be a lot drier than the rest, and this just kind of helps protect it and kind of keep the frizz down at the ends, so I just like to do that. And all the products that I use in this video will be linked down below in the description box. Now I'm taking my paddle brush and I'm combing through my hair and this is just going to distribute the heat protectant and the serum and just kind of comb out my hair enough so that it will be easier to run the fine tooth comb through it when I'm straightening it. This is also going to make curly hair poof out because you're not supposed to brush your hair when it's dry if you have curly hair or else it will do this. So all of you guys who are wondering why curly hair people don't brush their hair when it's dry is because this will happen. This makes me look crazy, like a lion. Anyways, take your hair scrunchie and section that side in half. I like to start with the back and just put the front section in a bun uh, so it's just out of the way so I can focus on the back. I use a bobby pin so it doesn't flop all around the place and just pin it to my head. And then you're going to want to take out a little section of the hair and probably about an inch wide and not too thick. So this is kind of the ideal amount of hair to straighten at once. You need a fine tooth comb like this and you're going to comb that out using the fine tooth comb so there are absolutely no tangles. Then you're going to take your straightening iron and you want to run that through your hair right after the comb. So you're still going to be combing through your hair while you're straightening it. The straightener I use is by Lioness and it's the 2 inch red tourmaline one and this one heats up really quickly and goes up to 480 degrees and since it has tourmaline plates it's supposed to reduce static by increasing negative ions which is perfect for curly hair. I usually turn mine up about 3 fourths of the way so it's probably about 300 degrees that I use on my hair. And this method I use is called the chasing method. You comb out your hair and then when you're straightening it, you straighten right behind the comb so it's still completely combed out. There are no tangles. You're not gonna straighten some tangles or curls or anything. And when your hair is too long and you can't run the comb all the way through, you just run it until it gets stuck. Then you comb out the extra part and then you straighten again. If you can't straighten the whole section at once, don't try and just pull through your hair. It will mess it up. So just straighten as far out as you can go and then recomb it and then straighten again. And each section I do after I straighten it once, I go over it again with the straightener after it's straight and I clamp that a little bit tighter. So it makes sure it's straight and smooth. And now that that section is completely finished, I'm going to take out the bun on top of my head, take out the bobby pin, and take the hair down, brush through it again so there are no tangles, which is the most important part and also the most time consuming part about straightening curly hair because it's curly and it just tangles itself. Uh, now I'm going to take out another section and this is a very thin section, so even though it's wider than the other one, it's super thin and I'm just going to do the same chasing method on this. And the thinner the section, the better effect, so keep that in mind. And look at how long my hair is compared to the curly hair. That is a major shrinkage right there. But I'm just gonna fast forward through this part, showing you guys again how I do it. When you section off your hair, you don't wanna take big sections or else it will be harder to get the heat and the flattening 
through the whole section and then your hair will still be sort of wavy. So if your hair is still staying pretty wavy after you straighten it, just try taking thinner and smaller sections. Also make sure when you chase with your straightener that your comb is still in front of the ends because the ends tend to go all over the place. So you want to kind of keep that close but not too close or you'll melt your comb, which happened to my sister once. So you don't want it to touch the comb, you just want it to be very close to the comb. So this is what it looks like straight. It's pretty dang straight if I do say so myself. And now I'm trying to do the other side, but I had one of these clear elastics in the end of my hair, and it was impossible to get out. I struggled with this for so long. Like, I don't understand how this elastic stayed in my hair so well and just wouldn't come out. Have you guys ever had problems with that, with those tiny little rubber elastics? Like, this one just gave me so many problems. That was the most problematic hair tie I've ever had to deal with. But anyways, I'm taking out the braid, which kept my hair tangle-free from the night before and you can see that it's not as curly as my natural curls are and that's kind of why I do it. And you can see the huge crazy shrinkage right there again. Anyways, adding in the serum and the heat protectant spray and then brushing it out as usual to prepare for the straightening. Look at all that volume. Girl. Yeah. Bounce. What am I doing? <laughs> Anyways, sectioning that off like usual, putting that bun in, pinning it up, and then taking my small sections. And here we go. We're basically doing the exact same thing that we did on the other side. If you guys have curly hair or have any curly hair straightening tips, leave them in the comment section down below because this is what I do, but if there are any other things that you guys do to help straighten your hair or keep it straighter or make the process faster, then let me know. Share it with the other curly haired girls in the comments too. And if you guys have never tried doing the French braids the night before to keep your hair tangle free, then definitely try it because it really cut down my straightening time more than in half. This took less than an hour to do when it usually takes me about two and a half hours to straighten my hair. And my hair is pretty long at this point, so it normally would have taken a lot longer if I hadn't braided it. At the end, I like to just straighten over some of the sections to make sure that they're completely straight and then comb it out and then I'm done. Uh, the only thing that's unfortunate about this is that you kind of have to avoid water and humidity or else it will start to poof up. But anyways, that's how I straighten my hair. That's how I get it as straight as possible in as little time as possible. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to subscribe and comment down below telling me what you think. All of my social media will be linked down below, and I love you guys, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Kisses. Mwah.